So today we're going to talk about doubles, and when we talk about doubles, we're going to talk about a strategy. We're not talking strokes, we're not talking about what we do, it's more about a strategy as a partnership. How do we cover the court together? How do we cover 100% of the court, let's say? Um, we are a team. Are we both going to rush the net? Then who takes the lob? Are we both going to stay at the baseline? Then who takes, who gets the drop shot? No, we're going to divide the responsibilities up between the server and her partner, or the returner and her partner, and we cover different parts of the court. And I think it's really important to understand that. Um, if you watch a two-person volleyball game, there's one person up at the net who's the blocker, who spikes the ball, who's up really close, and the other person is always behind, somewhat taking the lob, somewhat taking what that person doesn't get. Then you never see them both being really close up at the net. That's the same in tennis, in tennis doubles. So when we start out a point, I as a server, for example, I'm back behind the baseline. And whereas my partner, she's typically up at the net. Well, that's a staggeredness that really holds true. I have a person who's up there in front of the ball, and I'm serving right here, and what I'm doing, I'm setting up the point to go in front of that person. So in, in, in short, when somebody's at the net, we want the ball to be in front of her. So right there, she has a chance of getting the ball. 